Welcome to an Excel Max screencast. Um, Ryan here with you. I'm going to show you a an advanced way to look at Stacks. Stacks is uh, an updated you know project with Leopard. Um, Stacks allows you to easily browse through files through your doc, um, but there are some features that aren't really implemented through OS 10 that you really have to dive in and get dirty with the terminal to you know get the outcome that you want like if I were to take let's say if I take a my applications folder uh, let's see here OS 10 users Ryan applications oh, that didn't work alright that one did so if I take this folder and I drag it here, it'll make a stack of my applications. I can I can sort them by all sorts of different ways. Um, I can display it as a folder and as a stack. I can fan it out so it fans out like that. Or I can do a grid the grid, I love the grid, but it's so large because I have so many different applications in here that it's it's nearly impossible to use. So what I'm going to show you is a program called Onyx. Let's get that out of there. A program called Onyx that allows you to, let's say, it allows you to hack your stacks and just tweak things. So Quicksilver, open up Onyx. Onyx is universal, by the way, and it runs on Leopard. It allows for your password, you put that in. There we go. Now what you're going to do is go down to parameters. It's going to eject any drives or anything like that. And then you click on dock. And with dock you'll see recent favorite item stack. Now this, this um, is like eight icons that you recently have used. They can be pretty much anything. Now let me give you an example. Here I have Let's get that out of the way. Here I have a recent documents stack. Um, this will bring up eight, well, let's see, well, no, ten. Ten of my most recent, do recent documents that I've used. Uh, I just installed Onyx, so there's that. Um, the beauty of it is you can set it to recent servers, volumes, favorite items, and then applications, which is pretty much the most useful one that I use recent applications. These are the most recent applications you've used and it's basically in order. You open up another one, the last one drops off and then your new one comes in. It's it's really easy to use. So I'm going to show you how to add that. Let's just get rid of it for now. Let's get rid of my recent documents. So you go to parameters, opens this up, go to dock, and then you go to add. You just click add. It'll ask you to relaunch the dock, which it has to. And there there's your recent applications and if you right click on it you can change it to anything really recent documents, recent servers favorite volumes really anything that you wanted to set it to uh, you can do it multiple times too, that's how I got two on there so you just hit it again relaunch your doc you're good to go this one I got duplicates so I just go to documents and you can also add add a space between your applications and your folders. Um, it's just basically an empty icon that squeezes in between your applications. I don't really care for it. So that's my little quick tip of the day with uh, ExcelMac.com.